You know when you go out to eat and you go into a restaurant and there's all sorts of stuff on the walls that make you feel comfortable at home, but you don't really connect with it. When you come here to the tavern restaurant and look at the walls, you really feel like you're going back in history. First time people who come in here, I think, are surprised by the range of things we have on the wall. We have some things that are fairly recent, Capaletti's picture, and some, some things like that. A, a person who was an honored alumni fairly recently. And then we have some very old, old lithographs and pictures of old Maine in four different stages of its growth. So, so I think people are a little bit surprised at, at what we have. They're individually lighted and uh, it's, uh, I think, the detail of what's there people find interesting if they have the time to look at it. Lots of photos of Penn State. From the good old days. Buildings that aren't there anymore. Even pictures of when there was only one main building. There's lots of shots of State College with only a few little buildings. Streets that aren't there yet and ones that have disappeared. Here's a shot of the Penn State campus on a very snowy day before they made this area here into a pedestrian mall. The idea of putting history on the walls was started by John O'Connor and Ralph Yeager, the founders of the tavern in 1948. And even when this place is filled with people, the stuff on the walls is a lot more than decorations. Sometimes when the restaurant's open, people come in and they want to see their hometown, or they have somebody with them they want to show them their hometown. And sometimes the, the lithograph is adjacent to where someone else is having dinner. And sometimes they'll say, excuse me, I just want to see this. And sometimes it's just a quick glance, and sometimes it takes a long time. And they're saying, look, here's where the, here's where the Presbyterian church is, and here's where the Catholic church is, and your, your grandmother's house would have been right here. And it can go on for quite a while until they've become part of the dinner party. One of the other things that they have that's kind of neat is what they call town views. Here's Du Bois, Pennsylvania. We keep wondering whether someone was up in a balloon sketching really fast. The history of the tavern is even highlighted in places, with photographs of the original fireplace room that now houses several Civil War lithographs. Here at the tavern, you can generally find local history anywhere you sit. But if you're looking for sports, try the bar and the special national championship room. Many of the photos here also chronicle some of Penn State's more interesting activities. A long time ago, Penn State freshman classes versus sophomore classes, they had these fairly rough games. They've had different ones over the years, and one of the photos we have is of a flag scrap that they abandoned in about 1915 or 16 because too many people were getting hurt, and they went to something else. But uh, each class had a flag, the freshman class and the sophomore class, and the, the object of the flag scrap was to take the capture the other person's flag, and it was up on a pole, and you had to get by the entire class and get up the pole without getting maimed to get their flag. And usually the freshmen won because they were more numerous than the sophomores. But one year that the sophomores won, they erected a, a large, almost like a crane, and they hung a small sophomore on it. And they basically boomed him out over the defending freshman class to where he could jump onto the pole and get the flag. The picture shows the sophomore, the winning sophomore class. There's a little piece of the f actual flag that they captured in 1903. We also can't forget Penn State's first dining halls. The Ghost Walk. Preparations for the Big Bonfire and the Pushball Scrap. All of the history on these walls adds to the uniqueness of this place. But sometimes the people who visit also add to it. Sometimes people come in and say, I have something that I think would belong on the tavern wall. And we've had numerous things donated. We have two being framed right now. Since I got here early, I thought I'd have some dinner. 
I mean, after all, man can't live by history alone. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.